Okay, let's take a look at your the investment page and the um, and your portfolio. So again, we're going to go back to pages. And let's pull up the investment guide page. And you'll notice this layout's a little bit different. There's no columns. There's just, well, there's not two columns. There's one big column. But everything else looks the same. You've got your image, and then you've got your text. So we're going to hover over the image. Click on the green pencil. And let's click on the green button here. And notice that this picture is a little bit different. This picture is 1200 pixels, 1280 pixels wide by 1275. Hi. Okay, this one is full width. So this one's going across the whole width of your web page. So in swapping out this one, you need to make sure that it's 1280 pixels wide. It can be any height you want, but it must be 1280 pixels wide. So again, whatever image editing program you're using, Make sure it's 1,280 pixels wide. Notice the size. You want to keep the size somewhere around here. I actually made this a little bit high. I usually don't make the file sizes this big, but I wanted your picture to look a little nicer for you. So point being, I wouldn't go any higher than this as far as the quality and file size. Okay, so let's just get out of there. Everything else works the same way. Selecting different pictures, uploading a file. So I'm going to exit out of this window. And then we'll hover over the text block. Again, this works the exact same way. You can see all the text right here that I've used. You can either highlight text here type and change it or you can go to the text button and highlight text in this area notice that some of the text doesn't have HTML tags with it but some of it does that'll be the same in any text block that you have but again making changes you want to stick between the tags. Just edit the text. And then you would hit save changes, which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to exit out. And then again, anytime you make a change, make sure to hit update. So that's it for your investment guide page. It's basically the same as the other two pages except for it's divide, it only has one column instead of two. Okay, let's go take a look at your portfolio. Now your portfolio isn't actual pages. These are just links in your menu to your portfolio pages. So all the menus are found under Appearance and Menus. And this is the menu bar across the top of the page. So I'm assuming that you might want to change the portfolio at some time. So let's say if you've got different pages or in the future you get different categories that you want to add here or take away, what you do is you go to custom links And you type in the URL of the um, link that you want it to go to. So for instance, under Senior Portraits, if I click this down arrow, I can see that this is the actual link to the Senior Portrait section. So I would just add that right here. I'm just going to put a bunch of garbly goop in there. And Link Text. That's what's actually going to show on the front end. So I'm just going to type new button. 
And once we're done, we hit Add to Menu. And there it is, right at the bottom. Now you can you can click and drag these to reorder them. So we're going to want this as a submenu under Portfolio. So I'm just going to click and drag it right up here. Maybe I want it to be above Pet Photography. And now I'm going to click on Save Menu. Just like updating a page, you always have to click Save Menu. Oh, and another thing, too, if you want to remove one of these, well, we'll come back to that. So let's hit Save Menu. Keep in mind, this is live right now, so I'll come back and change it. go over to your website and refresh the page. Now if I hover over portfolio, you see that I've got that link right there that we just added called new button. Okay, let's go back and change this. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard and we're going to get rid of that. So this is how you would delete any, any, of, your, uh, any of your buttons here. All you do is simply open it up and hit remove and remember to save the menu. You can also reorder any of the pages by just clicking and dragging them around. So let's make sure that that came off. Let's go back to your website, refresh the page again. Hover over Portfolio, and we can see that the new button is gone. 